guys are familiar with the Red Sea Reef First Series, you know that this is just crap. It's a terrible design. There's really no other way to say it. Uh, the diaphragm in there gets dirty, it gets loose. And what happens is, I mean, right now it's pretty quiet because my return pump is currently off, but it'll start gurgling. It'll start making uh, noises. It sounds like a toilet and you just have to adjust it. But every time I do a water change or every time I turn off the pumps to feed, the noise starts again. And what I've noticed is that every single night, my wife and I are having to get up and pee because we just keep hearing this water trickling. It's just terrible and uncomfortable. So we're gonna take this out. The problem is that you really just can't put a, I mean, you technically could put a gate valve in here, but um, this is an American size and that's a European standard. So what the fine people at TSA said is to just get the return piece for here, okay? take out the barb fitting. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna plumb this to have a threaded to slip. That's gonna go to the valve and then it'll go back down. So let's give it a shot. So we've got this valve here. It's going to the bend, bend, then the pipe down here. Super easy. Let's go ahead and put this piece in and then figure out what else we need. Well, here's the part that sucks. I actually don't have the right plumbing here. I already took this out. I could put it back in, but I'd rather take this to make sure everything fits since it's a weird standard. What's really nice about the way the Red Sea does do their plumbing is, you can see here, it's, they have like their own type of fitting. So you don't need to put any, um, what's it called, thread lock or Teflon tape there. So what I did to just for now wrap that water back down there, you can see it's just dripping down inside this bag. Eventually it will stop dripping, but I don't want it to drip down through the back of the sump. So we've got the fusion stuff here. Uh, I just like this one over the uh, two-step one. I've done both, but this one makes less of a mess and it binds just as good. So we're gonna get some tape. That's gonna go to right here. Okay, which is gonna go to the one inch pipe. That's gonna go to here. And then connection there. Now, I didn't get a union because I don't really think I need it. I mean, I, I love doing unions where it's all possible, but it's a single piece of pipe. Because this comes off so easily, this is technically the union. So let's get to cutting. Okay, so you can see that it all fits nicely. So let's clean it up a little bit and glue it all together. This hot trash is out, this is in. Sure, it's not as pretty, but I don't care. This is gonna be a much better valve than this diaphragm base one. And I already regret not putting a union here. Honestly, it would have been probably a little easier to put one here or here. Uh, just because it's not a lot of fun trying to guide this in and then popping it in. Having the union would definitely help. It's not necessary, it's not the end of the world. But if you ever do this, put a union here or here. It's completely quiet. And that's it. This is replaced now with something that is much easier to control and will not break down over time. So hopefully that helps. What I did notice, by the way, is that, see how that's flat? The valve isn't as flat. So it's kind of going like this a little bit, at a very slight angle when it's going in the tank, but it's not leaking water. So that is the important part. I definitely recommend instead of doing a one inch valve, do the three quarter inch valve and hopefully that'll help a little bit better. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe, like, and big thanks to the great people at Top Shelf Aquatics over in Winter Park for the suggestion about using that little top adapter part to make this project a lot easier. Have a great night and God bless.